okay firstly uh mesm is microsoft macro assembler uh, mesm can run on windows and dos mesm is flat assembler mesm, mesm can run on windows linux and dos mesm is net wide assembler uh, NASM can run on Windows, Linux, DOS, BSD, QNX, and Mac OS. Then, lastly, we have TASM. TASM can run on Windows and DOS. Next slide is uh, architecture that can uh, support MASM. First is MASM can run on 16 bit, 32 bit, and 64 bit. Then we have FASM. FASM can run on 32 bit and 64 bit. Fine, uh, we have NASM 16 bit, 32 bit, and 64 bit. Lastly, we have TASM. TASM can run on 16 bit, 32 bit, and 64 bit. Lastly, the last slide is for me, uh, the developer, the company that developed or patented the uh, assembler. Okay, firstly, MESM. MESM, cannot, MESM is developed by Microsoft. MESM is developed or patented by Thomas Rista aka Privalov. Then we have NASM. NASM is developed by uh, Simon Tatum and Julian Hall as his assistant. Lastly, we have TASM. TASM is developed by Borland Software Company. Okay, so um, so since uh, Mazam and Nazam are different, we are going to look at basic syntax. Let's say we are giving a code in Mazam, trying to see the similarities and difference between Mazam and Nazam. So we know that Mazam is uh, is limited to Windows, and Nazam is a free cross cross platform x86 assembler which supports all the common x86 operating systems: Linux, Mac OS, X, and Windows. So unlike GNU assembler, it uses the same Intel syntax that Mazam does. Still, there are some differences. Mazam is case sensitive. This is this means that the function, the the name of the function, my function, with M I capital F, is not the same as my function with all lower cases. And code labels, code labels and procedures are defined and treated the same. That one is one of the similarities. So. <clears throat> Next slide. So there is no procedure call our NP syntax in Nazam. As you can see here, in Mazam we have the name and the procedure call. Then here we write our code and the return function is here and then the name and N and uh, NP right end procedure. But for Mazam we just have the name and the colon. Then we have the code and the return code. There is no procedure or NP. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As a presentation of uh, Mazam versus Nazam or convert to Mazam versus Nazam. So, Nazam program are divided into two portions data and text, simil uh, but similar to the Mazam. You can see here the left, uh, left column, there is Mazam, they, they use dot data and dot com, but in the Nazam, they use section dot data and section dot text. So there is a difference uh, between uh, Mazam and Nazam. So uh, either you want to convert Mazam to Nazam, you have to follow this. The next slide is data labels are automatically threaded as addresses unless they are enclosed in a square brackets. There is constantly no offset keyword. So there is the main point is no offset keyword in the Mazam they have uh, uh, we are using offset level but in the Nazam in the Nazam you mean uh, Nazam for Linux and Mazam for Windows so in the Nazam so there is no offset keyword for differences of data level syntax in Mazam and Nazam so in Mazam it should be declared as byte word d word and so on but in nazam it should be used db dw dd so you can see here the example in mazam declare as name type value and here also as usual well, in nazam name type value so here in mazam as a declaration they use the val one here also val one but as a type they use d word but here as a type they use the dd so this is the differences between mazam and nazam in data level syntax but uninitialized data levels are different syntax in mazam we will use the wh question but in nazam we will use as rest type something like that so as a type 
the data is undeclared so they got the wh question but here here also the undeclared but they use the race type so in byte also they use the race b in word also they use the race w and d word also they use the race d that's all and now we look at the repetition both mother and anthem have differences in arrangement in mazam uh, the type will come first before the count while in nazam the arrangement are uh, in the line uh, the count will come first before it continue with type and now for the include uh, unlike mazam in mazam uh, we only need to uh, type the common like normal but unlike mazam Nazm required the percentage sign at the beginning of the common and at the end we'll need to put the double quote uh, in the word itself. Next, uh, Microsoft Macro Assembler features a wide variety of macro facilities and structured programming idioms including high level construction for looping, procedure calls and alternation. This make the the Microsoft Micro Assembler can build a very small, high performance executable files that are well suited where size and speed matters. As for Flat Assembler, the features are basically the same but only but are limited to macros. Next, uh, NASM, which is also known as Network Assembler, is known for Linux. As we know, Linux only use macros, a lot, a lot of macros in their operating system. So, uh, network assembler, uh, 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 macros, uh, so network assembler are uh, expertise in macros only. So, next is Turbo Assembler, just TASM. TASM can assemble. Microsoft Micro Assembler source using its uh, Microsoft Micro Assembler mode and has an ideal mode with a few enhancements. So basically, uh, Turbo Assembler are the same but uh, upgraded version that can be integrated with uh, Microsoft Micro Assembler. Fasm versus Fasm versus Nasm. Fasm it can be used with a Boolean side level language compilers such as Turbo Pascal, Turbo Basic, Turbo C, and Turbo C++. Uh, and it's also, it also has uh, Turbo linkers that interoperable with Turbo debuggers. Uh, while Fasm um, has a high speed, high speed assembler, and it has size optimization and operating system portability. Next is uh, NASM. NASM uh, can output several binary formats including COFF, OMF, A.OUT, executable and linkable format, MARSHO and binary file uh, such as .bin, binary disk this image used to compile to it also has its own binary format called RDOFS. It also can create flat binary files usable to write boots, loaders, read only memory, image, and various uh, facets of OS environment. Uh, that's all. And the conclusion. There are many features and abilities that are different from the software created to adapt the system environment. And as each set assembler has strengths and weaknesses that may give opportunity every users with new application.